What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and we have some breaking news regarding Roger Federer. He is out of the 2020 season. He has to go back into surgery. There's complications with the knee surgery that he got back in uh, February, March and he will not be playing the remainder of the season. We are still on suspension so we still don't have any tennis coming up. We're supposed to be coming back in August but if we come back in August, no French Open for Federer, no US Open for Federer. No tournaments for the rest of the year. We'll see him in 2021. Let's go through the first article here and have a look at what is actually going to be happening. All right, so as you can see, Roger Federer reveals devastating injury setback will rule him out until next year. So he put it on Twitter that this is, uh, this is the case, that unfortunately this uh, rehabilitation has been a setback on his knee concern. Uh, and also I think his coach actually was saying the other day uh, that there were some something going on with the knee. It wasn't exactly going the way and recovering the way it should. And it looks like it's gotten bad. And, uh, you know, we said that Federer was probably, last week on the show, we said Federer was the most likely to come out of this on top because he had rehabilitation while everybody else was staying inside. But unfortunately now, if everyone comes back in August... Federer won't be there. He loses a lot of points. Obviously got to the semifinals, the ATP finals at the end of the year. Last year, US Open, he got uh, into the quarterfinals there. And also he got to the semifinals, the French Open. Uh, and along the way, he made a lot of, uh, lot of, you know, obviously Basel. He wins that every year. So he's going to lose a lot of points. And he will drop down possibly out of the top 10. Depends. It, you know, he has a lot of points with Wimbledon, obviously not being played. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens here. But look down here. Uh, he got the knee injury. His last match was at the semifinals uh, to Novak Djokovic. And we watched that match. It didn't look like Federer was 100%. And he admitted that he wasn't 100% at that point. Uh, went into knee surgery, of course. And he went to ne he went to social media. And here is the statement here. Um, Dear fans, I hope you are staying safe and healthy and health saying safe and healthy uh, a few weeks ago having experienced a setback during my initial rehabilitation i had to have an, an additional arthroscopic uh, procedure on my right knee now much like lead, uh, i did leading up to the 2017 season i plan to take necessary time to be 100 percent ready to play at the highest level uh, i will be missing my fans and the tour dearly but I will look forward to seeing everybody back on tour at the start of 2021. All the best, Roger. So that's what he said. And, I mean, he did this in 2016. Remember, he had to go into surgery. He came back at the start of 2017. And he won the Australian Open. So is that something he can do next year? Who knows? He's going to be 39 uh, in August. And going into next season, he's going to be uh, a lot older and obviously coming back from an injury like this, coming back from a surgery like this, at that age, we don't know what to expect. We have never expect, we haven't really seen this before, so we don't know what to expect from him. But Fed fans, we can hold on to the hope that he did get through this in 2017. He won the tournament in 2017. He had a tough run, uh, beat Rafa in the final, of course. So uh, Fed fans out there, you can hold on to some hope. But uh, unfortunately, not going to see Federer for the rest of 2020. Hopefully, we do get tennis back. We obviously want tennis back. Um, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of Fed fans out there don't want Federer, don't want the tour to come back. So Federer gets a little bit of extra time off while everybody else has to sit inside and wait. But um, yeah, so that is the news. That is breaking news. Federer not playing the rest of 2020.